May peace be on all of you. Myself, Dr. Majid Khan, Associate Professor, Loknete Dr. J. D. Pawar, College of Pharmacy, Kalwan, Nasik. Today we have to discuss about the sulfonamide. In this video, that is in lecture one, we have discussed about introduction, classification, and SAR of sulfonamide so now let us start the learning outcome after completion of this topic a student able to classify sulfonamide on the basis of chemical structure understand SAR of sulfonamide sulfonamide antimicrobial drug where the first effective chemotherapeutic agent that could be used systemically for the cure of bacterial infection in human being. Their introduction led to sharp decline in morbidity and mortality of infectious disease. The rapid development of widespread resistance to the sulfonamide soon after their introduction and the increasing use of broad broad spectrum penicillin in the treatment of infectious disease diminished usefulness of sulfonamide today sulfonamide occupy rather small space in the list of chemotherapeutic chemotherapeutic agent if you see the history in the mid 1970 the development of combination of trimethoprene and sulfamethoxazole and its usefulness in treatment and prophylaxis of certain microbial infection led to a resurgence in the use of some sulfonamide. In 1932, Domag scientist name began to study a brilliant red dye later named Prontosil. Prontosil was found to protect against and cure streptococcal infection in mice. Interestingly, protons, Prontosil was inactive on bacterial culture. Domig and other continued to study Prontosil. In 1933, the first, the Foster, uh, in 1933, the first of many cures of severe bacterial infection in human was reported by Foster, scientist name, who treated 10 month old infant suffering from staphylococcal septicemia in prontosil is totally inactive in vitro but possess excellent activity in vivo this property of drug attracted much attention and stimulated a large body of research activity into the sulfonamide in 1935 Scientists perform structure activity study on sulfonamide azodyes and concluded that azo linkage was reductively cleaved to release active antibacterial product sulf sulfonilamide. This finding was confirmed in 1937 and urine of patient being treated with prontosil. Sorry, in finding was confirmed in 1937 when Fuller scientist name isolated free sulfonylamide from blood and urine of patient being treated with prontosil. So here structure of prontosil is given. So in prontosil structure there is a azo bond. This one between the two nitrogen there is a double bond. So this double bond is reductively cleaved 
to form sulfanilamide and their metabolite so in 1940 by 1948 more than 4500 compound has been evaluated but only two dozen have been used in clinical practice so it is about the history of sulfan sulfonamide then next point is classification so on the basis of chemical structure so it is the basic structure of sulfanilamide so if we see the, this structure it contain two nitrogen that is two amino group the nitrogen which is directly attached to sulfur is called as n1 nitrogen this one is n1 nitrogen on the other hand the nitrogen which is direct directly attached to aromatic ring this one is called as n4 so here there are two nitrogen n1 nitrogen and n4 nitrogen n1 nitrogen attached to directly attached to sulfur n2 directly attached to aromatic ring so on the basis of this sulfonamide classified as first one is n4 substituted sulfonamide so here there is a substitution on n4 means on this nitrogen there is a substitution the hydrogen attached to this nitrogen is replaced by any other substituent it is also called as pro drug example is prontosil second class is n1 substituted sulfonamide so in this class on nitrogen 1 first nitrogen hydrogen is replaced by other substituent it is called as n1 substituted sulfonamide example is sulfa diazine sulfa cetamide then third class in this n1 and n4 di substituted sulfonamide means substitution is there on both n4 and n1 example is succinyl sulfathiazole and fourth one is non alanine aniline derivative example mefenide so it is the four classes based on the chemical structure first one is n4 substituted sulfonamide also called as pro drugs example prontosil n1 substituted sulfonamide example sulfa diazine sulfa cetamide third one is n1 and n4 di substituted sulfonamide example succinyl sulfa thiazole and fourth one is non aniline aniline derivative that is mefenide then next is sar of sulfonamide so as we discuss general structure in that there are two nitrogen n1 and n4 so it is the basic requirement sulfonamide skeleton is the minimum structure requirement for antibacterial activity the next point sulfur atom should be directly linked to benzene ring so it is a sulfur which is directly linked to benzene ring next point in n1 substituted sulfonamide activity varies with nature of substituent at nitrogen so in case of n1 means this n1 substitution so the activities depend upon the nature of substituent the substitution with electron withdrawing group bacteriostatic activities increases which means that if we replace the hydrogen of this n1 nitrogen with electron withdrawing group bacteriostatic activity increases heterocyclic sub substituent leads to highly potent derivative so if we replace hydrogen of this nitrogen with heterocyclic group it show more activity as compared to the compound in which this hydrogen is replaced by simple phenyl ring for example for example in case of sulfa diazine so here you see 
n1 hydrogen is replaced by heterocyclic ring that is pyrimidine ring next example is sulfamerazine here also there is a substitution on n1 nitrogen by heterocyclic ring that is again pyrimidine so the compound in which one hydrogen of n1 nitrogen is replaced by heterocyclic ring it is more potent as compared to the compound in which there is a phenyl ring next point the free aromatic NH2 group means N4 should reside para to sulfonamide group so as we seen in general structure N4 is para to sulfonamide group if we shift this N4 from para to meta or ortho position result in compound devoid of antibacterial activity fifth point the presence of free NH2 group at position 4 is very essential for activity any substitution of amino group either result in prodrug or loss in activity prodrug can be formed by attaching a functional group at n4 which can be hydrolyzed in the body to resume free amino group again which is necessary for antibacterial activity n4 acetylation with dicarboxylic acid such as succinic acid or thalic acid yield sulfonamide which are not absorbed in small intestine but are hydrolyzed in large intestine to yield free active form of drug allowed to act locally it means that the nitrogen which is present on fourth position that is called as n4 nitrogen if we replace the hydrogen of this n4 nitrogen by any other group the compound is prodrug this compound after hydrolysis in intestine again converted into free amino group that is called as prodrug sixth point substitution in benzene ring of sulfonamide also been tried but all attempt ended up in the formation of inactive compound and the last point is substitution of sulfonic acid that is SO3H group of sulfonamide group that is SO2NH2 group destroy the activity it means that the SO2NH2 group that is sulfonamide group is if we replace it by sulfonic acid group it destroy the activity so it is the SAR of sulfonamide so in this video we cover introduction classification and SAR of sulfonamide in next video that is lecture 2 we will cover mechanism of action bacterial resistance and importance of pk value in sulfonamide so if you like the video please subscribe the channel thank you thank you very much